Hey Capricorn, I hope you're well. In today's reading will be looking at however you're thinking about for the rest of the year. How you present yourself to the opposite sex or same sex or how you're perceived. So we have Ten of Wands, King of Cups, King of Swords, a very matter of fact, um, quite emotionally and intellectually very intelligent, um, but also someone who's quite hardworking. Um, you can come across as someone who's a very busy and you have a lot on your shoulders so perhaps you look you appear to be um, not as interested um, a bit of a aloof exterior a detached energy coming from you and also someone who's uh, holds back a lot though someone of that you are showing up as the two kings so um, you do have a strong um, first impression on potential suitors um, they see you as someone who has a wise um, wise persona, but someone who has a good head on their shoulders. Someone who doesn't like to waste their time. And also someone who's trustworthy and someone of integrity is what I'm getting. So overall, beautiful first impression. Um, what are your positive traits as a lover? We have five of swords clarified by the king of pentacles, uh, ten of pentacles, nine of swords. Um, I think you provide a lot of security um, to your love partners. They feel very safe and secure with you, um, quite comfortable. And they know that you you um, can handle your own. Uh, you're not someone who's uh, codependent or dependent on other people, which is beautiful. Um, but Ten of Pentacles is also someone... King of Pentacles is actually one of the best kings to get for a long-term uh, partner so i think your love partners appreciate that when you um give your loyalties to someone you uh, you really follow through um any you don't make commitments easily but when you do you don't give up on others and you really um relieve that anxiety of your partners they know that you won't be going anywhere and you're not someone who's a very mature energy coming from you if there's arguments um ego clashes i think you're someone who really likes to talk through those you're not someone with a temper very level-headed um with that king of pentacles beautiful energy so far what makes you hard to love so we have four of swords ten of swords tower um sometimes you Perhaps when there's a chaos or instability around you, you detach. Um, you're someone who likes to walk away or not deal with things. That is a possibility. Because Four of Swords is energy that is calm, peaceful. Someone who doesn't really like to rock the boat. Um, that is a possibility but another issue i'm getting is there's some past trauma or breakups uh, still in your energy that need to be healed um, because how you can overcome this we have three of swords two of cups queen of pentacles um so if you've this ten of swords is also negative thinking so it could be that you overthink um and that you create scenarios in your head with the tower worst case scenarios but it's telling you to trust more in your advice here and you do have someone that will be on a similar wavelength as you with that two of cups queen of pentacles we actually have two pairs here with that king and queen of pentacles but we also have the king and queen of swords here what kind of men or women you attract we have ace of wands ace of cups knight of cups so you attract people with a lot of potential but this sometimes i think you can attract flings to you or people that are here one minute and they're and they they're gone just as fast as they entered your life but i think you attract a lot of relationships that seem to have the potential to be long term but then end up being very short term is what i'm getting and also very sexually and emotionally charged um, connections you attract um, people that flatter you but they have hidden agendas is a possibility now this is interesting because what you need 
to attract in a partner we have a lot of blue here we have six of swords queen of swords magician hierophant if you look at these colors we have a lot of warm bright um, but what you need is someone who operates more so from their, their logic um, someone who's very trustworthy but not an emotional fool someone who is stable steady um, intellectually but also someone who's intelligent magician and queen of swords can really cut through any illusions and hierophant is someone who's uh, of high morals um traditional but also someone who believes in marriage and long-term commitments very faithful energy and magician is someone who's quite capable of accomplishing whatever they put their mind to so that is what you need when you may meet a potential love partner we have seven of wands death page of pentacles so this can be um seven to twelve months but what i'm getting is there's a need um to be more open so really don't be so guarded that you miss opportunities because there will be someone coming with that page of pentacles um you can meet through um, practical matters so work school um wh wherever you're learning something new is where you may meet is what i have but let's look more into this person who they are let's start with i'll get a chinese um zodiac card for their personality and then we'll work from there We have the pig, pig, pig. So that is yin water, a dependable and sociable team player. Pig makes a good leader or lover. Cultured and sensitive, pig likes stability, leaving this animal vulnerable and insecure at times. Loves creature comforts and a cozy home. Pig's easygoing nature is often taken advantage of, but this animal can also display the aggression of a boar. So yes, you're attacking someone who's very homebody, um, dependable, similar to the King of Pentacles energy. Beautiful. But let's get more into their, about their personality. Who? Wow, this person's been through it. This could be a Scorpio. I think this person has been backstabbed and cheated on as well. They've really been through a lot, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I see what's going. <laughs> this can be a water sign. Strong Scorpio here, but also Cancer Pisces. This person's looking for you with that Ten of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. They want um, um, that completion, that victory, the happily ever after. But their past is very rough. I see a lot of battles here. Um, third party situations, heartbreak, um, just chaos in their life. Um, this person is trying to um, stabilize their emotions. They're, they're showing up as the king of cups. So that's someone who's emotionally available, very compassionate. But this is not someone who's an emotional fool. They've really learned from their past experiences. This, is, this person may have a lot of friends, but... Uh, they love um, going out, having fun, very friendly vibes coming from them. At times, they can be a bit jealous, possessive, that Scorpio energy coming through. But it's it's telling a story here. They're, they're looking for the one, a stable, committed, long-term partner. Um, Queen of Pentacles is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So yes, 
I'm seeing a very unstable past for this individual, though. Um, let's see more. Um, let's see what they expect from a lover, partner, what they want. Um, first impression, profession, what they do for a living, perhaps what they look like, physical characteristics, and potential outcome. Okay, let's see. Capricorn singles. I want to see, will the attraction between Capricorn singles and their new person be instant? No. Why is that? Again, I'm getting, okay. There will be an opportunity presented to you, Capricorn, but in really i i see some healing that needs to be done on both of your parts so i can't really pinpoint maybe when we get the first impression i can but i think this will take a while though yeah this there this will take time for you to build trust um in each other but it'll be a slow moving connection one of you won't see the opportunity right away perhaps oh, queen of wands is sometimes who's you're very self-focused, so your attention lies elsewhere on yourself or your goals, your passion. What will this person's first impression of Capricorn singles be when they first lay eyes on them? <laughs> that was how the potential suitors were viewing you as well. It's you. Um, Capricorn, I think that's showing up as disinterested. This person's a bit, they will be intimidated by you and also they'll think you're not interested in them. It's a very cold, detached, um, I will cut your throat off if you don't say the wrong thing to me, that type of energy, but very hardworking. This could be a um, um, work situation. But well, you have a lot on your plate wherever they're viewing you. This ten of wands signifies someone who has burdens, but uh, they have a lot of responsibilities. What will your first impression of this person be? Very generous, open, someone who wants to give to you, whether that's um, some sort of help to you to ease this burden. If this is school work, this could be a, yeah, very communicative. Now this person's beautiful. They, this is, they're offering you this cup. That you're not seeing it or you're not interested. Your focus lies elsewhere. There's someone as a person, they're quite, they're secretive. It's getting strong, Scorpio, in this person's energy. Yeah. They'll see an opportunity with you right away. This eight of wands is sometimes love at first sight or instant attraction. But I think you will... Um, how will you feel um, when you first meet this new person? Why? Yeah, you're you're not trusting this you're not feeling much you're not seeing an opportunity here i think you'll you will be open to friendship but i don't think you're why is death here though death can sometimes be someone not yeah you're not you're not thinking um, you're not seeing this person as a potential suitor you're not how will they feel when they meet you for the first time
Yeah, they're <laughs> they they're very sexually attracted to you. The bottom of the deck, Empress. They'll they'll be patient with you, but you, I think, you will take time to open up to them. But these the strong, fiery, passionate feelings. Where I think they will be the one that's pursuing you. Because this is a pair here. I think they see that this can get go somewhere. Uh, let's get more. Um, did we ask, what does this person want from a love partner? What do they want from a potential love partner? Exactly what you are appearing to be. <laughs> someone who can build a stable family with them um, someone who doesn't give up easily and someone they don't have to fight for their attention is what I'm getting someone who's not swayed easily by their passions very logical intelligent that's why they're instantly drawn towards you. They really like your logical approach. That aloof exterior they'll makes them want to chase you in a way, is what I'm getting. Capricorn. Um, physical characteristics. If we can get any, we'll try. Soft features. But we have blonde and brown hair in this image. Brown hair again. Yeah, this is two extremes, brown and blonde hair. Quite active, agile, fast in their movements. Yeah, I think brown hair. This person is a physically fit though. Knight of Swords is, doesn't like to sit for too long. He's very action oriented. Yeah, brown hair, light or dark brown hair is what I'm getting. Someone very well dressed though, smells nice. Um, quite fashionable but you might see them as a bit standoffish although they're they're very attracted to you but this is someone who this talks about physical strength too because he is fighting off these um six other ones so someone can who can really hold their own but let's try to get more physical characteristics this person's tall though Someone who's shy, introverted, it's saying. Yeah, very, this can be a Pisces as well, I'm getting. Very compassionate. Very balanced. Okay, yeah, that makes sense with that. Two of Cups and Nine of Pentacles. So it could be very symmetrical physical features. And then we have a young woman. So we have possibly dark hair, regardless if it's a man or woman. We'll look at the physical characteristics. Um, possibly dark haired, who isn't afraid to speak their mind. Very independent, goal oriented, and likes to feel in control, loves outdoor activity. So yeah, quiet reflection. Um, this is someone who's physically strong, but they don't really, they like to remain in the background. 
Uh, with deception, I'm not getting that they're deceptive as a person, but I think they really like to hide. Not someone who likes a lot of attention is what I'm getting. Quiet reflection, take the time to meditate and go within. Still your mind and listen closely to what you hear. Trust your inner voice. Yeah, very withdrawn energy. But well-dressed person is what we're getting. We had two of cups and balance. I just see someone who's well put together. That's all I'm getting. Capricorn. Um, what? Um, perhaps their profession. What do they do for a living? This person's self-employed. They don't work for someone. It could be an entrepreneur. Or they're like a CEO, a head of a company. A lot of responsibilities I'm getting. Mm. This is only telling us that they're, they're, they're either a boss or entrepreneur or something. But they have perhaps more than one income, that two of pentacles, they have a lot going on. But very financially successful. You know, it's not telling us much. We have hardworking, skilled with his hands. He's physically active, loves being outdoors, and is very considerate and trustworthy. So perhaps they use their body in their profession. We have let your guard down. Take down the barriers you have built around your heart. It's time to trust yourself and others. They could be a little security guard of some sort. Something to do with 